Hey there, welcome to the Tilt channel. I'm Elle and in this video I'd like to discuss the main concepts you should be familiar with to use Tilt effectively. The five main concepts are the Tilt file, and that's how you tell Tilt about your whole application. Part of that is going to be telling Tilt how to build your container images and how to deploy them to your cluster. Then we're going to discuss the blob data type, which is important when you're creating your own functionality. And lastly, we're going to go over the concept of resources as it applies to Tilt. Let's start with the Tilt file. The Tilt file is executed on startup, and that is how you tell Tilt about how your whole application works. This is what a typical Tilt file looks like. You have functions like Docker build that build container images. You have functions like KTML, and this tells Tilt about all of your Kubernetes manifests. There are some extras here that we're going to look at in a minute, and these are all built-in functions. Tilt files are written in Starlark. That is a dialect of Python. So if you're used to Python, you can use most of the techniques you're used to to manipulate data and functionality inside your Tilt file. As you can see in this more advanced tilt file, here I'm using functions, I'm defining a special function, I'm using a for loop, I have variables, I have ifs. So in the tilt file, you can use general programming techniques to create automation and functionality as necessary. This makes tilt a lot more extensible than the typical configuration file where every option needs to be hard coded up front. To build container images, you're going to use the docker build function. It requires a name, and it requires a file path. It expects there to be a file called docker file under this path, and if there isn't, then I need to specify that the docker file for that image actually goes by this name, and I do that with this docker file argument. There are a few other arguments I can use. For example, only says that under this file path, I should only use these files to build this docker image. There are a few extras other than only in Dockerfile, and you can check those in the documentation. When it's time to deploy services with Kubernetes, I have a few options, but I'm generally going to use the KTML function. I can use it like this, where I pass each service in individually, and these are all Kubernetes manifests, or I can just pass them all as one big lump like this. It works with images that I built myself, for example, Glitch we just built up above, and Frontend we just built up above, and it also works with external images like this one that's just going to be fetched from a container registry. The KTML function can be called in many different ways. You can just use one static file, you can use many files, you can call it multiple times, and you can also call subfunctions that will generate your Kubernetes manifests from other tools. And here we're showing customize and helm. In this example, uh, in my more advanced tilt file, I'm calling KTML on a local execution of a shell script that I wrote myself. And this shell script generates the Kubernetes manifest and outputs that, and that then gets passed to my KTML function. And this brings us to the next topic, and that is blobs. So in tilt files, you're going to have two types of string. One is the built-in string type, and the other is blob. So why the difference? Some functions, like docker build, KTML, they can take two different types of data. One is the data itself, and the second is a file path to a file where the data actually lives. So when you pass in the path to a Docker file, it's going to open that file and take that data and use that data. But I could also just write the data by hand in the tilt file and pass that to the function. So how does the function know whether what it's looking at is a path or the actual data? And that distinction is done with blobs. So let's look at this example. When I pass these arguments to my KTML function, they're strings. When I read a file uh, and I put the contents of the file in memory, the output of this is a blob because Tilt assumes that if you read a file, the contents of the file are the actual data and not more paths to where a file is. So if I want to type the whole string by hand, this is going to have the type string, of course, but to pass it to KTML and say, this is the actual data, then I wrap it as a blob. Okay, last topic, resources. A resource is a bundle of work that is managed by Tilt. This can come from a single function, for example, a special resource that you crafted, or it can come from a combination of different functions, for example, a combination of building a Docker image and using a Kubernetes manifest to deploy that. 
The reason Tilt can group some of these together is to make it easier for you to track their status and errors if they happen. Here in the web UI, each item you see on this menu to the right is a separate resource. Some of them come from a single call on your Tilt file, for example Flush Database is a single function here that generates a resource. Other resources, like this one, are the result of multiple function calls in your Tilt file. For example, Glitch comes from a Docker build call and a KTML call. These are the main concepts behind Tilt, and you should now be ready to set it up for your own project. For more information, check out our docs, and don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need a hand. Thank you for watching.